And joining us now is Mayor Latoya Cantrell. And Ms. Cantrell, thank you for joining us. Can you give us an update on what you're hearing and what you're seeing in terms of injuries and flooding in the city of New Orleans? Well, uh, first of all, good evening, and thank you so much for accommodating uh, updates from the Sewage and Water Board and, of course, our Chief Harrison with NOPD. Uh, what we uh, are seeing in terms of injuries, none reported. Uh, so uh, that that is good. Of course, we want to ensure that our residents uh, are safe and, and go uninjured, and that is what has been reported to us thus far. Well, and we just heard from one of our reporters, Danny Monteverdi, who's been out along Broad Street this afternoon, uh, saying that you know people aren't even frustrated anymore. Now they're almost resigned. What do you say to those people who are flashing back to the August 5th flood? Well, um, I definitely can understand their flashback. However, we do uh, have to uh, make sure that we, when we have these uh, unpredictable uh, rainstorm events, that we are a city that floods. And so uh, making sure that we can take every precaution as possible. But I know uh, for a fact that they're burnt out. You know, I, I know they are. I was boots on the ground over at Broad Theater August, uh, right after uh, August 5th flood. So I do understand that. Uh, however, you know, when we're slab on ground, we take on uh, so many inches of water at, at one particular time. We are a city that floods, and uh, we definitely have our capacity in terms of pumping and power uh, did uh, reach in terms of what we were told, 115 pumps uh, working out of the 120, of course, continuing to push uh, towards 100 percent capacity as it relates uh, to Sewage and Water Board, which is a top priority. Uh, we were also able to dispatch uh, from DPW about four trucks just to ensure that drains uh, were unclogged because we weren't comfortable with the level of flooding in particular areas. Treme, for example, took on six and a half inches of water, uh, which, you know, again, is, is getting into this unprecedented uh, uh, mode. Uh, so we, we saw this rainstorm come quickly. Uh, we had hail. Of course, what we've seen uh, happen to Bayou Boogaloo. Uh, we have EMS dispatched. They will stay on the premises. We have uh, uh, made sure that we'll be there. We'll help them uh, get back in order as best as possible and in shape for tomorrow. And so we're doing everything possible, um, you know, based on what has occurred this, this afternoon. Ms. Cantrell, this storm really started around 4 o'clock. It's now 646. We've had roughly maybe two and a half hours of heavy rain. As you're taking a look at some of the images, we have water in Treme, we have uh, cars in, flooded in overpasses right now, mid-city, uh, parts of that are flooded. What is your confidence level? You had said just yesterday when you were at your news conference with the uh, Louisiana National Guard that you're very confident that we can handle uh, any approaching storm, but we, rough, we had maybe two and a half hours of heavy rain and it's basically gridlock on the streets and we have flooded streets here. What is your confidence level now and how is that going to inform your approach well, moving ahead? Sure. Well, well, the reality is, again, you know, what we have reported in the past several days uh, from Sewage and Water Board in terms of power and pumping capacity, the 115 pumps did actually function. So what was expected did occur um, as it relates to the six and a half inches that we did receive in the Treme area and others uh, in an upward of, of four inches. We uh, have these rain events uh, and we're prepared as much as possible, but we are, in fact, again, a city that floods and when if we get too much too soon we will see street flooding as we have always seen but we're not um, definitely uh, going to uh, lax uh, we're going to make sure that we keep sewage and water board a priority getting to 100 percent capacity but again even at 100 percent capacity we are a city that floods and what i would like to just encourage our residents when these things happen we need to be good stewards as best that we can when we see street flooding happening uh, you know really do not only slow down but even avoid streets from so that water cannot go into businesses as well as to homes and so this is something that um, we have to remain focused on uh, but i am confident in the people uh, who serve the city of new orleans well, and I know, as you said, we are a city that floods. That is very true. And 115 out of 120 pumps working right now. So is this what people should expect? I mean, is this as good as it gets? 
Well, it is as good as it gets right now as we continue to push for 100% capacity, both power and pumps, with the sewage and water board. So we have to continue to work very hard and very aggressively uh, leading to uh, two weeks from now, June 1. I know that this is, is actually, it is being done, but we, we cannot let up and we will not let up. Uh, our people deserve it and we're going to give them exactly, you know, what they deserve. And Mayor Cantrell, uh, what you said earlier that we are a city that floods, it eerily sounds similar to your predecessor, that when the city takes on a certain amount of water in a certain amount of time, it does flood. Uh, quite frankly, many people sitting at home that went through the floods, went through Katrina, and now they're hearing basically yep. the same iterations of the predecessor. How are you going to improve? Because as you were running for office, you said that you will improve the sewage and water board. We still don't have a permanent executive director. What are the steps that you will take to make sure that we don't have the same impact? Because again, this looks like August 5th on a lesser degree though. Well, I don't think it looks like August 5th at all. Well, I said it um, looked like a, a August yeah, 5th on no, a lesser no, degree. It doesn't, it's, it's not August 5th, and we're, we have capacity that is much greater than we had August 5th. In regards to sounding like a predecessor, bottom line is, again, uh, when we receive and take on too much water at any given time, we will uh, flood. And so the, the focus has to remain on getting to 100% capacity. Uh, 115 pumps out of 120, we're not there yet, and, it's, and, and, uh, and it continues to remain a priority. As it relates uh, to the executive director's position with the Sewage and Water Board, absolutely. That has to be filled. Uh, the selection committee, as you know, uh, was identified this week, and that is moving forward. In addition to a chief operating officer, in addition to a chief financial officer, also um, in regards to a general superintendent. These are existing conditions, and we have to address them. What I am saying uh, to the public and to you is that it's a priority, and we're working every single day to make sure that this is what we're continuing to remain focused on. Well, before we let you go, uh, what would you say to people tonight? What are your recommendations for how they should handle it as, this, as the streets continue to drain? Well, I, I would ask them to, uh, you know, stay home, uh, stay where they are until we do see a water receding, in which it is happening now. We're seeing, you know, the water is, is, is coming down, which is a good thing. Uh, I want to thank, you know, all of our citizens for just using uh, caution um, and just um, staying, you know, not only engaged, but just focused on the current conditions that we have experienced, you know, thanking the public is very important and, um, and and we have challenges uh, but I'm very optimistic that with uh, with the real focus and making sure that it remains a priority we will get there and where our folks can see um, you know that they matter and that systems are working to support just what I said. New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell we thank you for your time and please keep us updated on the drainage and also certainly on any updates on injuries as well. Thank you no, for your time. No, absolutely. And thank you all so much for the work that you do informing the public. It's appreciated.